Thank you for tuning in for what is going to be the last Let's Get Graphic of 2014. I can't believe that the year is almost over already. It's been crazy. It went by super fast. And honestly, this just past week has been hell for me. I got a wicked bad stomach bug starting on Tuesday, like Christmas Eve Eve. I was so stupid. I don't even know why people say that, but like the day before Christmas Eve, I got sick and I was sick all through the holiday. It really sucked. I didn't get to do anything fun. I just laid in bed and read books. Yeah, go figure. Um, I did get my grades for the end of the semester. I passed everything, so really cool about that. But let's get on with this this haul of graphic novels and trades that I want to share with you guys. I don't have too many, and I know that it's almost the end of the year, so a couple of these books are due back to the library before soon. So, First up we have Jeff Lemire's Trillium. If you're not familiar with who Jeff Lemire is, he's the guy who did Sweet Tooth. He's a Canadian comic book illustrator. And his style is pretty unique, and I do have to say, his style kind of worked for Sweet Tooth, because they were like mutants, and they were supposed to look funny, but I, in seeing it in this stuff, I really don't get it. I just don't think it goes well for everything. Um, this is a science fiction story that takes place in the future like 3797 I think is what it, yeah 3797 and it also takes path and takes place in the past 1921 see how it's like kind of flip side here and it, this guy but the main character is Nika Thamesmith and it's all around this temple this kind of like main temple and these flowers which they call trillium it's really bizarre and I know a lot of people have rated this really highly on Goodreads. I'm just not feeling it. Um, I'm almost more than halfway through with it and I... Follow me on Goodreads if you really want to know what I thought of this, but I don't think I will be doing a review of this, like a video review, but yeah, it is what it is. Next up, I am reading Green Lantern, New Guardians, Gods and Monsters. This is Volume 4. I really think this is a cool series. Um, I have said it many times before, I absolutely love the New 52 lineup. And I think these New Guardians are really, really cool. I mean, the, the way they're taking the Green Lantern core and all of these different factions, the Ring Bears, it's... I'm loving it. I think it's a great, great path that they should continue on with this, so I hope they don't cancel this series. Next up we have Bathman Little Gotham. This is volume one. It's I read this one time before, but it was like the holiday edition. It was like Halloween and Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day and all that. Basically what it is, it's like Batman done really cutesy, like they're little they're little I guess is how you would say it um, this is another one that's kinda popular right now so if you've not checked it out go ahead and check that one out and of course I am gonna read volume two of that and it's basically the same thing it's just you know they're just on a smaller scale then we have a Marvel Knights. This one is Fantastic Four, The Resurrection of Nicholas Scratch. I think this is a Marvel Knights. I mean, I thought it was, but I may be wrong. Oh, yes, it is Marvel Knights. Uh, see, I was wrong. I was right. I was, I was afraid I was telling you guys the wrong information. But, yes, this is a Marvel Knights Fantastic Four, which is their more mature line. Um... The other ones were kind of, uh, so I don't know. Maybe this one will be good. And last but not least, we have Dorothy and the Wizard in Oz. This is another one that's illustrated by Scotty Young, which you can tell by the, the style. And I have already read this in book form by Baum, and it was just okay. So 
I'll probably power through this, seeing how I've already read it, because usually they are word for word the same as your story. So that is my latest Let's Get Graphic course. As always, questions, comments down below. Let me know if you've read any of these. Um, I don't think too many people on my friends list have read Trillium. I think I saw like two reviews of it. I know one person really loved it. They gave it like five stars and then somebody else added it, but I don't think they've read it yet. So, you know, let me know what you guys think. I mean, I really like Jeff Lemire. I think he's a, he's a cool, I think, it, you know, he's a cool artist, but I don't think this whole, like, the way he draws the people, like, uh, I don't think it's appropriate for this story. But maybe that's just his style, like Scotty Young's style. You know, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, and until next time, later guys.